Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Ozzy and Drix, Partners in Time. In the last episode, we made our way through the belly of the beast, or rather the head of the beast, I guess, or the neck of the beast. I don't know. We're still stuck in you, but we're trying to get the heck out of here. Though, judging by this map, it doesn't really seem we'll be making much progress in escaping. Though, I'm sure we'll find a way, eventually, hopefully, possibly. Whoa! Help! Oh, it was Yoshi. Wow! Help! Blah, this is gross! Okay. Ouch! Dark, too! Okay, I can understand him eating stuff like all the blocks and everything, and the doorways are a bit weird, and like how they're all fancily designed. Fancily? Uh, intricately designed and everything like that, but. How the fruit is there a stinking conveyor belt like egg factory inside of his torso cavity? This is wild shroop work. We must do whatever it takes to free captive Yoshis. So you gotta wonder if like, was it a plan of theirs to be eaten so they could make eggs inside of him? I don't know. Not only that, we need to find Bowser and Fresh's belly. Back to adventure. Uh, sometimes you just gotta question these things. Cannonballers, that'll be fun for the boss fight. And we got even more fights to deal with. Okay, keep on going. I apologize, like, I don't know, I feel like I've just been extra excessive with uh, cutting out the fights in this LP, but uh, this game in general just seems to be a lot more battle heavy, so uh, this part of me is kind of glad now that I'm not like going out of my way to LP every single uh, Mario & Luigi game. I'm not sure which ones I want to LP, so obviously I'm LP partners in time, unless it's all Dream or something like that. And where I'm actually Let's Play Dream Team. Uh, Partners in Time and Bowser's Inside Story are the only ones that are definite on my list. Uh, I don't know if I'll go backwards in LP Superstar Saga. And I guess that's another topic is like, uh, considering that the Mario and Luigi games have been getting remade recently, uh, Superstar Saga and Bowser's Inside Story got remade. I don't know why they skipped over Partners in Time, but whatever. Um, the reason I wasn't like waiting for a remake or anything like that is because I just kind of prefer the art style of the older uh, games. Compared to the new ones, not saying the new ones look bad or anything like that, but I just kind of like the art style to it. And it's, as far as I'm aware, it's pretty much the same uh, game, except they added like a side story to it. The For Superstar Saga, they added like Bowser's minions who have their own little story. And it's just about a Goomba with a flag coming out of its head. And it's like just a dumb design and doesn't really mean anything. So I don't know. I didn't really care to... Uh, I didn't think they were going to offer anything to me that was going to be interesting enough to where I would want to wait on it and see if I could play it. If they ever do remake Partners in Time, I'll probably get it and then uh, see what uh, if I can make a bonus video for whatever side story there is. Though I'm pretty sure it's sprinkled throughout the entire game, so not really something I could just do at the end like I did with uh, Delta Emerald, basically. I uh, got that. Uh, Big Luigi gets a level up as well. Uh, which was really good. And so stash, we'll go with HP, five. I really gotta put more time and effort into the stash, but I don't know, I just don't really care to. I'm never really at a point where I'm low on money, so I just don't really care to. Uh, but yeah, in terms of just like waiting for a remake, I didn't really think it was necessary because uh, the side stories aren't all that, uh, I'm not interested in them, and I didn't even get Bowser's Inside Stories remake. Actually, it's not even out yet, as far as I'm aware. So, um, uh, also the remake involves Bowser Jr. and everyone knows how much I despise him. So, I have no interest in getting that remake just so I can see Bowser's stupid son but do a bunch of stupid stuff because he's stupid and I hate him. Uh, ooh, what if Partners in Time had like a side story with Egad or something? That'd be kind of cool. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be an annoying fight. But yeah, uh, Partners in Time and Bowser's Inside Story are my favorites of the Mario and Luigi games, so I'll definitely be LPing those. Uh, doubtful about LPing uh, Superstar Saga at any point. Dream Team, I'm iffy on. I don't know. It was it was interesting. Like, I kind of want to talk a lot about Dream Team, but I don't think I'm actually going to LP it. So, my main issue with Dream Team is that it was released during the year of Luigi, but it's really not all that about Luigi. I kind of wish it was very deep in the story, and, like, they do make hints towards it of how, like, when you go into Luigi's mind for the first time, you see, like, a lot of, like, tormented words appearing, like, in the background, like, talking about how 
distressed he is about being abandoned by Mario and all that jazz. And I kind of wish that got explored a lot more, but it never really does. It's just like there's very little actual story in there. Luigi just becomes like an object for Mario to use. And it's weird, when you go into the dream segments with Luigi, uh, you don't actually get to play as Luigi, you only play as Mario, and Luigi powers up Mario's attacks. So it becomes more about Mario. Like, I guess it's sort of about Luigi's character is that he cares so much about Mario. So he, instead of making himself more powerful, he just makes his brother more powerful instead. But I don't know, I just, it's a Luigi game. Presumably it's part of the year of Luigi. So you think Luigi would be very prominent in it, but he's really not. So I don't know, I just didn't really like that. And after like some things, uh, that happened in Bowser's Inside Story, like a certain gameplay mechanic, they just keep on bringing it back in every single one, like they feel like they have to meet that expectation or do it every time. And I don't think it's entirely needed, and it just seems kind of forced after a while, so not entirely sure about that, but whatever. Uh, let's see what we can do. Could hit this, thank you. But yeah, uh, Dream Team, I think Dream Team is the longest out of the Mario and Luigi games. Uh, I think it's like. My file was like 40 hours or something. It was like crazy long. Uh, but that was a game, I guess. Paper Jam is a weird beast. I, it's a interesting game in which it doesn't, it breaks a lot of the rules. It, it's kind of self acknowledge or self-aware in the fact that it's the fifth Mario and Luigi game. And it's like, okay, we don't need to do these tutorials anymore and all that jazz. Like it jumps right into the story, like without any delay, like even quicker than this game did. And the cool thing about it is that like anytime there's a tutorial, even if it's like a completely new thing, uh, the game asks you if you want to even learn the tutorial and you can just say no. It's like, okay, sure. And like, I just figure it out for myself and it's very, in very quick. I gotta stop saying interesting. Like I've been saying, that's my word of the year. Like last year it was saying so, uh, what was it? It was all right then. That was my uh, word of the year for all of year six. I just kept on saying all right then. And now I just keep saying interesting for year seven. And I just really need to stop saying that. But yeah, what I liked about Paper Jam is that it made you skip tutorials a lot, or you had the option to skip it for literally everything. And it seemed like kind of empty because like there was like no dialogue and stuff. It was like it was weird having so many times where I could just skip dialogue. Uh, I already went up there, so I just go down here. That's where I want to go. But that was like the really awkward thing about it. Uh, this thing can't do anything with quite yet. Uh, this block is broken right here. We got uh, coins from Mario. And for Luigi, we got three super mushrooms. Um, but yeah, with Paper Jam, uh, my biggest complaint is that it is very much a Mario and Luigi game. It has nothing to do with Paper Mario other than the fact that he's just there with them. Uh, don't get eggs wet. Okay, cool. So we need to get the eggs wet, presumably. Uh, go over here and hit a squirt dukin. Or, no. Oh, I remember what you need to do. Hit it like this, and then... No. Hit it like this, and then go. There you go. Wow, tight fit. Didn't really do anything. Didn't really damage the egg by making it wet. It sort of just uh, exploded because I don't know whatever. It just pushed it into a spike ball. It had nothing to do with getting the egg wet. Or whatever. Uh, do that. Thank you. Yeah, that was gnarly. Aha! I found you. Gotta roll another. Uh, hey, they actually could do it without us meeting up with them this time. Cool. Alright! Now it's a maroon! Alright! So as I can say about Paper Jam is that it... Paper Mario's existence in it is very minimal and whatnot. It doesn't really add anything to it other than just seeing the character. And all the enemies are just like very basic Mario enemies, but just normal form and paper form. It's really unexciting and stuff. It was very disappointing, unfortunately. And actually, Paper Luigi was supposed to be a playable character in there, so in case you're wondering, like, why is it just Paper Mario? Well, if you uh, save Paper Peach and uh, fight Paper Bowser as well, why not have Paper Luigi as well? Uh, sorry for the spoilers. I guess I put treats up here just for the spoilers, but, um, after you beat the game, you unlock the sound test, and on the sound test, you see Paper Luigi sleeping on a beach and, uh, listening to music, and that's where he is. He's the only, this is his only appearance in the game. And, uh, in interviews, it's actually confirmed that Paper Luigi was meant to be playable, but they didn't do it because they thought it would be kind of difficult to have four, uh, characters be controlled on the screen at once. And a lot of people will immediately draw connections to, like, uh, partners in time and four characters. Why is not able to do that in, uh, Paper Jam as well? So, here's the thing. 
yeah, we control four characters in this game, but we never actually walk around with four characters. It's always Mario and Luigi. It's either the big bros on their own, the little bros on their own, or we're piggybacking. So you only ever have to uh, really control two of them and have two of them jump around and platform and all that stuff. So I could see it being kind of awkward in which you have a big old conga line and you need to uh, do platforming segments where you're jumping across the gaps or anything like that or trying to avoid enemies and stuff. And uh, that could be kind of awkward in that sense. So I see what they're coming from in that sense, but in terms of battling, I think it would have been fine. Or like if they, uh, for walking around, I think they could have just like had Mario and Luigi walk side by side and have the Paper Bros in the back or something like that. Kind of like uh, the layout for Four Swords Adventures or something. It certainly wasn't impossible for them to add Paper Luigi, but they didn't do it. I can understand the challenges that come with it, but uh, whatever. And of course he just dies. Um, bring Mario back, please. But yeah, Paper Jam was like really disappointing. A, it just didn't have anything to do with Paper Mario. Didn't really use uh, his existence in the game to their advantage in telling the story. And also, it was just very, it was very like, I don't know. It was like, they're running out of ideas, but at the same time, it's just like, they're doing whatever the heck they want because they've like exhausted everything else at this point. It was like very fan y in a lot of areas as well. Cause like, uh, with Peach and Paper Peach get kidnapped, like there are a lot of segments where like they just cut away to uh, seeing how they're doing and they're just talking to each other about like how they actually enjoy getting kidnapped and uh, they're really sick of Mario and it's like it was very like sacrilegious in a way it was like weird to see them say that but also they were sort of like trying to make a romance thing out of it and I'm okay with uh, a gay romance in the uh, Mario universe or anything like that or in any sort of story for that matter but the fact that it was Peach trying to romance herself was really awkward so I didn't really understand why they were going with it like that if it was just like a different female character then I would be okay with it I would understand it but like uh, I don't know and like it's weird that like that ship happens but then like when Mario Odyssey comes out people are shipping Peach and Pauline stuff but like you never actually see them together or they're never even in the same room together in the entire stinking game I don't think it's really seeing where Pauline's existence in Odyssey is literally just in that one world and it's not all that prominent and stuff. I was really excited to see some sort of like story thing be like having Pauline recognize Mario or know who, sh who he is or anything like that. But no, they never really acknowledge it. It's like they're meeting for the first time and stuff. It's really weird. Even though her entire city is based off of her experience in Donkey Kong, but they never mention the fact that they know each other. And that's sort of why I uh, honestly didn't disappoint me. Like the gameplay was phenomenal and everything like that but I I don't know galaxy just set the standards so stinking high for story and I have just been wanting that to be matched or topped ever since and it hasn't so that's just sort of always been kind of letting me down which is kind of unfortunate but uh, maybe that's just me I know a lot of people don't really care for stories and games they are focusing on the gameplay I know that is the most important part of a game is the gameplay but certainly nothing wrong with a really amazing story and considering the fact that they have happened before um, I want them to continue happening, and it certainly helps uh, video games become more appreciated or acknowledged as, like, pieces of art if they have, like, really amazing stories attached to them. I know, of course, people who don't play games won't go out of their way to play the games to experience the story, or, like, movie or film critics or whatever. They won't really experience it by playing the game because they're all old and stuff or whatever, or they have an interest in it or whatever. But, uh, I guess they can look up Let's Plays and then they, uh, see all these obnoxious commentators be like, I don't like these uncivilized swine who are, uh, making our nation go down the drain or something like that. I don't see it, no. It's just really weird or whatever. He uh, keeps on pushing his hoof. But yeah, I got on, like, a long tangent. Like, I appreciate that. I appreciate the fact. I like that I was able to come up with something to talk about, like, right in the end. Luigi! Uh, let's go to revive real quick. Yeah, I like that I was able to at least come up with stuff to talk about because I really didn't like that. I felt, felt like some of these episodes were falling flat a little bit, but this episode was really jam-packed with a lot of interesting topics. But we're not done yet, so I better not be uh, running out of things to say. But of course, now that I acknowledge it, we are done So, so uh, I covered all the Mario and Luigi games, though. I don't know if where the series is headed, honestly. Like, Paper Jam was just really stinking weird, and like Mario's stories in general are really weird in which they don't quite hit the mark on what I want them to do, but uh, they've done it before in the past, so I just continue to be hopeful that they'll be able to do it again and replicate it or surprise me with something entirely new. Like Mario and Rabbids, in case you haven't played that yet, you really need to because it's amazing. 
Uh, you got all the Yoshis hanging down here. I'm not sure why. Where's the exit? Yeah, that's sort of the thing. When you look at the map, you can't get out of here. This is for you. Got a one-up super. Oh, that's nice. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Uh, what do you got? Go on and take this. Oh, they're giving us a bunch of items. A drain badge. Okay. We should be getting out of here soon, right? Uh, here you go. Uh, four smash eggs. And must have food. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and drill a hole right here. I don't see the you freaking out anymore because we're in his booty. Uh, go over here. And we're going to mess around with that coin block. So give me a minute. 32 again. Okay. Uh, that's taken care of. Go on this way. And nowhere else left to go but up. Looks like we're reaching the end here. Uh, that always looks super, super creepy. And hello, who are you supposed to be? Hold on, bye, boogity. I'll bust you out of there. Hey, hey, Nan. Who are you guys? What? Toadbert? Did you say my name's Toadbert? A toad from the Mushroom Kingdom, Princess Peach, Time Machine? Oh, yeah. Ow. I, the past is a total blank. It makes my mind hurt. No matter how hard I try, I can't remember a thing. Wait, no, I just lied. There is one thing. Every once in a while, a dim memory surfaces. I drew this picture of the image. My brain art. Fancy. Very, very fancy. I honestly don't have a clue what that is. What I do know is that it scares my cap off. I think that's the reason my memory is blank. I can't bear to remember. You got to Tobut's dramatic drawing! One day I just woke up in Yoshi's village. Then that huge lizard snaked us all down. Or snarked us all down. Or should it snarf? Huh? These eggs? My friends, the Yoshis are trapped inside them. And the Yoshis that were in the eggs are probably going to be reborn as monsters. That's how birth works, right? I've got to hurry and get them out of here, but... There's this huge nasty thing in the back who's guarding the exit. What? You're going to take that thing out? Are you out of your tree? It's big and scary, and it smells really weird. But where the Super Mario? And a Luigi. Man, who are you guys? Let's go. Yeah, who is this guy, Luigi, being all confident and stuff? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and heal real quick, because it seems like we have a boss fight coming up. Uh, that was probably unnecessary, but we got a lot of mushrooms to go around, so... Uh, we, we did get a badge, actually, so let me just check that real quick. Uh, we got the drain badge. Cover a few HP depending on how many times you damage the foe. That's actually really good. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the... Uh, collect chance of collecting items used in battle after battle. Oh, I guess that's what the salvage badge was when it did the little shine thing. Uh, from before, so we used a smash egg, so we got one in return. No coins from from I'm gonna get rid of the wallet badge and use the dream badge. Okay, now before my eyes get any worse, let's go ahead and hurry up and finish this area. But not before getting this last beat. Hopefully I got all of them in here, because we ain't coming back. Uh, we have a save album if you want to use it, but I'm just gonna go in full force and see what lies ahead. Don't you harm those eggs. Just let them go, bye boogity. Sorry to interrupt. I just had to see if I could help out. Bye bye. Luigi. Luigi. Grr. Hey. Lip hair! Yeah, you! Don't just lie there! Get me out of here! Mm. Let's go. 
We got ourselves a boss fight against Sunnyside. Very funny name. So you do not want to... No, you do want to hit the eggs. So your main priority is actually going to be the eggs, not Sunnyside. So just focus on breaking these eggs open and freeing the Yoshis within. Uh, I don't think Fire Flowers would work, but we could try, I guess. Let's see if it does any damage. Uh, just do that, that, that. Sorry to cook you guys while you're in the egg, but uh, it did a little bit of damage, but not anything great. Now, if you land on the egg, that'll be really good. Uh, God darn it, I do not need Mario to be dizzy right now. Uh, oh, come on, not double dizzy. Uh, okay, so I'm going to give him a refreshing herb because we can't really do much without him. I'm just going to use that. And he's super weak, unfortunately, but we need to use this egg. We do have one egg left over, so... And just hit it and crack open a Yoshi. And it's a big old cucumber right there. And I don't get it. He's able to roll the boulder up so stinking quickly by himself. But then right when he gets to the edge, he can't do anything. Now, get it. Uh, just avoid that. Avoid Parkinson's. Uh, you can't jump on the eggs? Are you serious? I feel like you can, but I'm just really bad at it. Uh, use a one-up mushroom on Mario. Uh, this way could actually be pretty devastating if you're just messing around like I am. So let's go ahead and crack open another egg. Uh, we got a black Yoshi. Gonna start pushing. Of course, again, I think you need like five of them, uh, which is really annoying. So just keep on dodging. Oh, he's doing something different. Hit his little boil in there. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Is like his ton or his uvula? I don't think I know. Either way, it shouldn't have a bandage in there. Don't put bandages inside of yourself. That's probably really painful. Probably something sexual I just said, but whatever. Too innocent to tell. Just jump on this and that. Crack open that egg. Got a blue Yoshi and a light blue Yoshi. And one more ought to do the trick. Do the suction attack. Oh, uh oh, that's not good. He healed himself by swallowing us with the fruit. Okay, jump and jump. Not like he took any damage before though. He had a little bit of damage, nothing really major. Uh, there we go. Push that aside, knock him over, and he is vulnerable. Uh, this is actually really bad. Uh, he actually pulls a lever to open up a trap door in the flesh. I don't know how that works, but whatever. Uh, this uh, dungeon has had a lot of weirder things in it, that's for sure, so we're not even going to question it. Now we're just going to use the cannonballers and wreck his uvula. Can I imagine getting shot of a cannonball and like, landing in someone's uvula. Oh, got to, what the, why was that so stinking terrible? Uh, maybe because like it reminded me of, like traumatic memories of not when someone stepped on my uvula, thank God. But um, my left earlobe is actually longer than my right earlobe because there was one time I was at like a softball game and uh, this kid was like on top of a set of bleachers and he jumped off the top of them and he grabbed my ear as he was coming down. So uh, it was really sick and painful and my ear never recovered, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, that's just a little fun story I like to tell, and every time I tell people, they're like, what, really? And then they just can't stop looking at them, it's really funny. Uh, one of the joys of being me. Uh, let's go ahead and use a correct cannonballer this time. It was a very poor performance from before. But we are going to remedy that. With a B, A, X, Y. 102. Uh, let's see what he's doing now. Okay. Uh, very easy for me to see. I, I imagine that would be a bit tougher on a DS screen because the lighting is not very good. Uh, just avoid that. Uh, gonna have to revive Mario, unfortunately. Just plopping down right there. Shove that mushroom in his face. And can't really do anything with sunny side, so I guess we will eat a mushroom and get more HP. Because we really need it, apparently. There's a little hop. And... Hello. Hit that. Luigi, I guess, jump regularly, because that's our best bet. Uh, break open that Yoshi egg. And he just rolls it up all magically, just fine on his own, but then, like, just right when he gets to the tip. You think when he gets to the tip, he would be able to... It would fall on its own through gravity, but no. That would make just too much sense. Okay, we got number two up there. Plops down more eggs. He's got a lot of sneaking attacks, that's for sure. But he's a boss, so I guess it's all uh, to be expected. Just not even gonna try to jump on these things. I don't even think it's possible at this point. Uh, jump on this one. I like that we're not just fighting uh, the Ube, I guess, because 
all the bosses up to this point have been like just shrewd versions of regular Mario enemies, but uh, now we got a equal egg. Like we're just finding the egg and not the thing that's inside of it. When eggs turn evil. Got one more up there and then we'll be good to go. Hopefully it leaves some eggs behind for us to use. Uh, just dodge that, dodge that, or not dodge it because life is cruel. Oh, I can jump on them, hooray! But it doesn't actually do anything, so there's no real point. Just land on that final egg, and we are good to go. And Gerblooey! Land on his face. Some of that doesn't do any damage, but whatever. And that makes zero sense. God, it looks so much brighter on the stinking D uh, 3DS screen. It was like the worst trying to uh, take the Game Boy Advance or the DS anywhere because like you could not see it. Like if you went outside. Boing, a boing, a boing, a boing. Got a Y X A B uh, up on here. Y X A B. Full rotation. Uh, let's see. Again, you can just always jump with both bros, but you see right when it's about to open up. Go and use another cannon. Bala, 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 bala. Ballin! We got ourselves an A X B Y. And that's not entirely it, but this might be right here. Let's try it, see what we got. I feel like I like, might be overpowered with using these things, but like I don't use them for any of the regular enemies, so I think it's well deserved that I start using them like crazy. And that's it! He's already dead! That is amazing. <laughs> And of course, our team members are going to be getting some well-deserved level ups. First up, we got Mario. Uh, looks okay, okay. Defense is looking really good. Speed, stash. Let's go with defense five. Very nice. With how much uh, Mario's been dying lately? I think that's some well-deserved stat increase, and also a well-needed one. Okay, okay. Uh, stash is looking the best, so. We'll course. Uh, Woohoo! Baby Mario! I'm gonna increase your stash because I have never done that before. Bye! Very, very nice. And Baby Luigi! Baby Luigi! We got ourselves... Um... Might be... Uh, stash is also looking really good. Plus six. How convenient, I guess. Oh, yes! I bet if we go into this hole, we'll be free! The exit! The exit! Oh my god, they're so stinking cute. I'll go and gather the rest of the eggs. You go ahead. Huh. Well, I guess it's to be expected, but in the situation that we're in right now, there's only one way out. Whether you like it or not, let's go! Yep! That just happened. We just flew right out of the booty hole, full force. Ready to D for everyone. My god, Luigi. And one more for good measure. Well, we were able to perform a dashing escape, weren't we? An adventure-filled escape from massive pink horror. That hulky monstroso monstros droid isn't moving anymore, is it? I would surmise that egg supplied with big hung grenader with its energy. Yes, indeed. We better hurry and get these eggs back to the village where they belong by Boogity. Wow, seems they somehow know they've all made it home. Come on, everyone. I suggest a return to the village to see what's happening. And actually, it just occurred to me, 
uh, we actually could go ahead and climb up the mountain to uh, enter Yub's belly again because he's just going to stay asleep there the entire time. Uh, so it is not non-returnable, like I said before. You could actually return whenever you want. That just occurred to me right now when I saw him fall asleep up there. I thought he was going to like fall or something or shrink, but that didn't actually happen. Listen up, lizards. I'm the one who saved you. Me. So make with the gratitude and the goodies, too. Thanks a bunch, pal. Thank you. Thank you. I remember being so stinking angry at this part. I was like, you didn't do nothing. I saved your life. Grr, this is not happening again. Let me just guess. You're here for the cookies? Nom, 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 nom. I'll scarf them down before I get you get you touch a, let you touch a single crumb. Um, nom, 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 nom. Can't even focus on talking because I'm chomping. Hork, plap. Er. <laughs> Look, magic! That's amazing! Oops! Whoa, no wonder I'd forgotten I'd eaten those. What's going on? Yow! Wow, awesome! Our hero can play! We're the best! Yes, you're covered too! Cobalt Star Shards! May seem kind of cool that we got two at once, but in actuality, we just reclaimed the progress that we had lost from before. So we're back to square one, basically. For the love of luggage, those cobalt star shards hold up a pugilistical power. There's no record of this in my databanks. I believe we've made an important discovery. I would wager that Toadbird's drawings contain spe some special secret as well. Let's return to our own time and confer with the professor. Back to adventure. Listen up, Yoshis. These guys here saved you, not that little piggy. He was in an egg the whole time, bye boogity. Seriously? Yep, I saw it all, every bit of it. These guys rock. Oh, wow. Thanks, you guys. Seriously. Wow. Lucy! Next time on Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. We'll see what egad has been up to as we return to the Mushroom Kingdom. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.